The Brothers of St. Joseph is a Catholic religious congregation of men with its headquarters based in Mwega, Nyeri, under the Catholic Archdiocese of Nyeri. We are Apostolans. This is our madhouse, a place of prayer and meditation. Welcome. The brothers were founders of some of the parishes that we have in Nyeri. This diocesan congregation was founded in 1947 by three Catholic brothers, with the main aim being to catechize, evangelize, and implement various human integral development and relief programs. Father Witte wrote a pastoral letter to all the parishes, asking parish priests if there is any young man who is willing to become a brother. The quickest way to get the evangelizers was to begin the congregation of brothers. And his appeal was positive because at least six young men showed up. They joined the brother Stephen and the congregation started. So they were under the person of Father Bessone, who was the rector and who was their first formator. Our first group to enter the novitiate was in 1947. And then, therefore, canonically, that marks the beginning of the Congregation of Brothers of St. Joseph. We are proud of three founders. The charismatic founder, who was Stephen Wambogo, our pioneer brother. Juridical founder, Father Michael Joseph Witte, who was a Holocaust missionary. And then another founder is a missionary from Consolata, who was Umbato Besone. Apart from evangelization, the brothers have a cardinal obligation to respond to the needs of the most vulnerable community members, collaborating with them to eliminate apathy. This is achieved through different programs in the health sector, education, child welfare and protection. There was a huge cry within the area of Ken West about HIV AIDS epidemic, where there are many people who are suffering. Some were very sick, some were affected in one way or the other. And the brothers came together and they founded this self-help group. So our organization began as a self-help group where different people, especially from different areas, villages and slums, came together who were affected. And they joined in hand and we see how, and see how they can do away with this epidemic. Then it developed to a CBO in 2016. That is when it was registered as a community-based organization under the Ministry of Social Services. The objective was to work with the communities and to enable them to address the integral development or the development development needs. Two, to create awareness and create preventive measures of HIV and AIDS within the society. And three, to generate the less fortunate in the society to improve their livelihoods. Some of these programs are designed to assist in the fight against tuberculosis and HIV AIDS by providing medication and psychosocial support to people living with the virus and to those who are at a higher risk of becoming infected. We have the following programs under the, the program officers. One, we have the Children Sponsorship Program, which, we have, which is sponsored by World Vision Kenya. Whereby we register children to that program, the community benefits, uh, with the World Vision programs like water, the, the building of the schools, uh, providing with the tanks at home, uh, lights, and many other, uh, and other development programs for World Vision. Two, we have the action of, uh, action of our program, whereby we assist orphans who are unable to, make, to go to, make to high school or to the uh, uh, colleges, we support them so that they can be able to do some courses, so that they can be able to, 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 to develop themselves and sustain themselves by offering them tools after the training, and also to giving them, those who cannot be able to go to the secondary school, we pray for their school fees. Fourth, it's about the livelihood, where you help the funeral communities within the area so that they can be able to, uh, to, to, can be able to build houses, can be able to, get, uh, to, to provide them with the tanks, and other materials so that they can be able to sustain themselves. We were trained, we had events like Family Fun Day, where we gathered in Kamukoji, we invite a business community and partners, they come, showcase their product, and then we raise money to, for the orphans and vulnerable youth. And so far we have trained 
46 of them and 15 are already in the training. So local resource mobilization is sustainable because it's the people who own this program. We also appreciate our volunteers, the young people who are in different colleges and universities and they come for cycling to create awareness in the community and also in surrounding towns. We also go to the churches, not only the Catholic, uh, other churches to create awareness. We do our ideas in livelihood, food, water harvesting, where we provide tanks, community projects, empowerment programs, and we empower the communities with issues of human rights. We promote and we keep awareness on prevention measures so that you can prevent the key population, more especially the young people, from being infected with HIV. In the same area, we do treatment and care, we empower the population and reduce the stigma. That is the main role that St. Joseph's Review is doing. On the other interventions, we do all this so that you can have poverty reduction, which has been an issue in this area. And then we promote what we call transformation through holistic intervention. The reputation of St. Joseph Community-Based Organization precedes its name for equitable, compassionate patient care and confidentiality. With that name of St. Joseph, it sells it so fast. There are some people who come so away from Odaya Sabu County. They feel that coming here, there is a level, high level of confidentiality. The place is here. Nobody will know that what you are coming to do there. So they come and register. Anybody from anywhere I don't come to Jesus, uh, we're going to be getting services here, especially with HIV, HIV and AIDS, we will come them. We don't mind where you come from. What we do here is um, see patients from the OPD section and also the CCC and TB clinic. What we do is create awareness on the virus, which is HIV, among the community so that we reduce the stigma. We also offer HIV testing services, which we voluntarily test clients about their status. We also follow up on the people living with HIV and monitor them by taking their viral loads and assuring 100% confidentiality between the patient and us as health workers. We also involved in another program of prevention of the treatment of communicable diseases and especially the, 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 the tuberculosis disease where we have been funded or have been supported by a partner of Global, Global Fund Foundation. We have a people called community health workers we use the local administration, and when they, 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 they present the report to, to us, the program officers of all their programs, they go to the field and they verify whether those, those are the people are in great need. From them, we put them in our system and in our program. For us, we implement in Kenya East, Kenya West, Madeira East, and Madeira West sub-counties uh, working with the help the Department of Health in the county of Nyeri, uh, trying to do what we are uh, community based work that is uh, household visits where we go screen those affected uh, with the TB. Uh, with, in case one of the contacts uh, have TB, is referred to a facility where uh, they can go for further investigations if we found with the TB. Then he started on the drug immediately. St. Joseph's CBO team has joined other stakeholders to consolidate the roles of both the public and private sectors in concerted efforts to end tuberculosis in this region. We also work with the county uh, government of uh, Nyeri in implementing where we call it the, the private uh, public mix. This is trying to bring the, all the prayers all the sectors uh, together so that they can be able to fight. We, found, uh, we have found that uh, most of the private sectors have not been involved much in the fight to TB. And so we want to include them so that each and every prayer is able to fight TB. Uh, other areas that we also, we try to strengthen uh, the, the communities so that they can also participate fully 
in the fight against TB. The Father Michael Witte Educational Center in Kagio, Kirinyaga County is one among several educational facilities owned and run by the Brothers of St. Joseph to enhance access to quality education for all. Welcome to Father Michael Witte Education Center. Learn today, live tomorrow. Karibu. The reason for starting this school was because we noticed that many people within Moya region, that is in Kirinyaga County, we are not getting quality education. And so, through a cry from the local people that they would want a Catholic school with discipline and quality education, we decided to begin this school. In response to the surging needs of children in this region, the congregation started St. Gerald Children's Center, a school and home for the homeless, orphans and children with special needs. Here, children are formed intellectually, morally, socially and spiritually. We had the venerable boys around here because in Russia is surrounded by the slums and so we take the initiative of Picking the boys who are venerable. And so the first boys were 11, so they joined this center. And later on, the novitiate was brought here so that the brothers can form the boys to be good boys. The other one, the center was to cater to the orphaned. We had orphans a lot, and so we collected some boys who were almost to be killed by uh, people here because of lack of food. Others were lacking clothes, even somewhere to shelter. So brothers decided to have this center so that we can cater for these boys. Later, we introduced the girls because we saw still the cry of the girl child. And in 2000, we registered this center as a primary school so that we can be able to cater for the boys and girls from this area. Our school is unique because we offer or we educate special pupils. Our boys and girls come from different backgrounds and tribes. We support our learners through mentorship, through coaching and also motivation. So beside our academic, we have an extra curriculum activities, like we teach them how to cook, they are good in food preparation as it is being taught in CBC and also farming. We have some practicals as it is being undertaken by the Ministry of Education, CBC, that we have practical in agriculture. So that at the end of the day, they may be, they become self reliant as they go out there. Some of our runners, they don't know even how to lead, but they can do manual work. So we urge all the parents to bring those people who are disabled, we used to offer them a chance, in, uh, or they have a room here. So I would urge parents who may have those kind of uh, less fortunate children to bring them here. My work here is to see about the spirituality, the, the way the chaplain is coming, and also to conduct him in a way so that he may be able to be coming the right time. He has been coming here on Thursdays for masses. Also, when it comes to catechumen, because we have catechumen, he has also been taking part of giving them stages. He has also been invited sometimes to give them counseling. Brothers of St. Joseph are committed to journeying with needy children from elementary school through high school and tertiary level of education, providing material and immaterial support. Those who have finished uh, class 8, we take them to high school. We have a good number who have finished the high school and also joined the university. We, have proud, we are proud to say that we have graduates from this center. Among them, we have Joseph Foshi, who has graduated. We have Joseph Kimadi, who is now a lawyer in the country and has come from here. We have various, we have nurses, we have teachers from this center. So we are proud of our center. Adrasha is very dangerous because of the slums. And every now and then we are getting these children, and especially the orphaned, those who have crisis from the families, and they are brought here, we cater for them. We have more venerable children 
who don't even proceed to high school because of lack of the school fees. So we cry for the government to come in and help us. Father Michael Witte, true brothers of St. Joseph, have been paying school fees for over 100 people from primary and even they follow them up to high school where they are paying to them. Most of the kids in classes don't have the basic needs. Brother of St. Joseph have been using the little amount they get from school fees to still help these learners. We are offering transport for our pupils. Currently we have two school vans. Brothers of St. Joseph are also still ferrying pupils who are vulnerable, whose parents cannot pay. We also have kids from the villages who are able the parents are not able, but the kids are able in learning. So brothers of St. Joseph have been offering free transport to them. Through that, we have been able to get babies from far whose parents cannot raise school fees. They are being educated freely. They are being ferried freely so that they can get education. The brothers work in collaboration with teachers, parents and community leaders to protect and give children a proper educational foundation. At the last the, uh, KCP, waliweza kupeleka watoto national, walipeleza ku, waliweza kupeleka watoto mpaka extra county na tukafurahia sana hata yule mtoto wa chini kabisa alienda shule ya district school. Tulifurahia sana juu ya hiyo performance. Kuna parent teacher relationship tumekuwa tukiinteract vizuri sana na walimu kama mimi mzazi juu shida yote ikipatikana shule unapata mwalimu anaweza kukommunicate na na mzazi na mzazi anakuja na wana solve kila kitu kama kuna kitu cha maana siku hizi ni masomo quality juu manake hapa father michael yale masomo yenye wanasoma inasaidia watoto hata wakienda mpaka high school at a university, see at the public, our toto our somi, who are one asoma. Lakini, Uzuriwa Academy, Mtoto who are Najaribu Kusukumwa, Nakujulikana Shidazake, Diwata Kama Konashida Molimu and Atatua, Naja and Najaribu Mpaka Kuinua, Kuinua Mpaka Fikirazake, Nawatakua wa to Azuri Atakwa Society Tena, Apa Shuleni, Walimu Ataweza Kutatua Talent is our toto. Juu hata siku hizi mtoto anaweza kuwa anaweza kosa kuwa mwerevu shule lakini yako na talent zenye zinaweza msaidia maishani. St. John Children Center ni shule msuli inashika watoto fisuli inakuwa na yatima hapa inawasaidia fisuli wenye bako na wasasi wanashika watoto wenye wasasi kama mdugu na badada zao ni shule msuli na iko na, na masomo msuli sana. The fraternity of St. Gerald children is mixed up of orphans children and children who their parents are able to pay for them and to cater for every need they want. Many spirits are of orphans and teachers, brothers and every non staffs and staffs, they need to take care of them and provide for them and give them parental love for them to feel they are at home and have a conducive environment to study. This Catholic congregation of brothers has established presence in different Catholic dioceses and archdioceses across the country in an effort to reach and serve the neediest people in remote places. In Nyer we have different houses. One we have Mwega where is our mother house. We have the CBO here also in the mother house, Nyeri. We also have a house in Talau or the orphanage, St. Gerard. We also have a house where we we train our postdocs, that is Kamariki. We also have brothers who are working as catechists, pastoral work, in Sirima Parish, that is in Nyeri. We also have a house in Karundas. Karundas just across here. We are working in the Polytechnic. And we also have a house in Warazojet. And we have a house in Njengu, where we have our officiate. We are also working in Mranga. In Mranga, we have two houses. We have St. Martin Boys. Uh, this is the decision uh, primary school, Mugoiri. But we also have our own school in a place called Kandongu, Orokagio, and the place is the school is called Father Witte Education Center. We also have a house in Nakuru Diocese, Tanguru Bay. 
where we have brothers who are two brothers working in the health center. One is a nurse, another one is a pharmacist. We have a house in Lodwa or Trokana, uh, where brother, two brothers are uh, in charge of the decision garage. And we also have one brother who is teaching there in a high school. Aside from that, we also have a house in Eldoret, where brothers are taking uh, one brother in charge of the pastoral, and then the other one is working in the decision farm. We have a house in Kitui, where brothers are in a, in a ranch. It's called Gossip, Goats and Sheep Project. But there are also girls, and that's what brothers are taking care of. We also have brothers working in the Agi Diocese of Mombasa. We have a brother who is working with the youth in the whole diocese. That's with the ministry. We have a brother who is working in the parish, as a parish apostolate. And then, if you are aware, Mombasa Diocese founded a congregation for brothers, Good Shepherd Sister Brothers, and they approached us to provide the personnel. So we have one brother who is there as the formator of this uh, young congregation. With very little known about religious brothers compared to other religious congregations, St. Joseph Brothers are dedicated to expanding their mission work beyond Kenya to promulgate their role in the Catholic Church and society. The vocation of brotherhood is not so much pronounced like uh, the priesthood, the sisterhood. Uh, brothers are uh, like almost in between there. We are sandwiched between the clergy and the sisters. Sometimes people don't understand who is a brother. Did you miss something because you would have been a priest? Did you miss something? Did you fail in a certain paper? Did you fail maybe in a philosophy? But I think a vocation to brotherhood is a vocation like any other vocation. So by being a misunderstood, it lowers the esteem, the high esteem for brothers. And I think uh, by going out and what we are doing is telling the people, is just announcing who a brother is. And some people now come to understand, oh, brothers don't do this, brothers don't offer mass, but they witness through their own way of life and their own way of work. So the work of brother, as he, Father Witt intended, one is to catechize. A brother who doesn't catechize is, I think, half-baked. A brother has to be sympathetic to the poor. A brother has to, see, to be sympathetic to the marginalized. And that's why we are taking up several projects that are geared towards human development. That's the work of a, a religious brother, at least for our congregation. We don't want to lead a, 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 a family that is not educated. So we take care of education. Brothers venture in, in health as nurses and as pharmacists. Brothers venture in agri business because this is actually the, the anger of any human person. You must have food and the brothers do that work. We also do general artisanships, mechanic, carpentry, electrical, and other uh, basic works that, you know, tailoring and dressmaking, brothers do this kind of work. And uh, above all, we also do some administration in church farms or church offices. The congregation is open to young Catholic men who seek to dedicate their lives to the service of God and humanity as brothers of St. Joseph. When Father Witter wrote the pastoral letter, we had the people from all over. Actually, it was the making of the Holy Spirit that the congregation cannot belong to one, to one section, to one tribe. So when we talk of vocations, younger men joining us, we don't appeal to a certain section of the country. But we appeal to every person. God calls people from different directions of the country. And therefore, the congregation does not discriminate against any tribe. No. We invite every, any brother, any young man who is willing to join us to come and be with us. We have brothers from different tribes. So uh, that combination 
makes life very rich, makes life very enjoyable. Actually, we learn from one another. There are prerequisite requirements for joining the Brothers of St. Joseph, as is the tradition in every religious congregation. The first qualification, he must be a man. A man who is baptized and confirmed. Then he should be living the sacramental life. The other issue is he must have finished the Form 4 and got a grade in which he can join another institution, maybe to become a teacher or to become a nurse or to enter in any other, in any other career that can help the church. The other one, we take a health person. A health person means that he is a person who can be able to undertake all the responsibility as far as pertaining the congregation, a man who can be able to move to the people to evangelize. The other one, he must be permitted by the parish priest or the local small Christian community in where he comes from. Then he should not be married or attempted marriage. He should have no debt. If you have the debt, you cannot be taken to the congregation either from the bank or from the friends who are requiring you to pay back. So first you must pay the debt, then you continue with the life of the congregation. The other issue is that the age should be between 18 to 30 years, so that you can be able to journey with other candidates. Once you are too old, you are not able to move together with the other candidate. Candidates go through different aspects of formation in preparation for mission work as brothers. We are the novices of the Brothers of St. Joseph, the year 2022. Welcome. So this is the, the Novisheet Formation House, whereby we prepare the novices for the first profession and also for the future mission. And this formation house, it is a formation house that is conducive whereby the novice is given time to reflect and to discern his vocation well. And therefore, that is why it is suited here in a seclusion place where silence and solitude is required for a novice. And that's why the brothers later on transferred the novice from St. Gerard Talau to this place so that the novices will be benefiting from the facilities from the seminary. So we prepare, we, uh, we, we form the, 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 the candidate to, to, to interact with itself, with others, and also with environment. We have what we call the intellectual formation, whereby the, 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 the candidate is prepared to think critically. And also we have the, 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 the religious formation, whereby now the, 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 the candidate is well prepared for religious life. And then we have the apostolic formation, whereby the candidate is also prepared to, to the apostolate of the congregation and for the church. And then we have the spiritual formation, whereby the candidate is prepared and he is taught about faith in God. And last, but not the least, we also instill what we call moral formation, whereby the candidate is taught what we call all the Christian values. Besides spiritual formation, brothers practice farming and other commercial activities to supplement food and financial resources. Other activities that are acquired by the novices, they do outside the, 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 the formation, they do the, the farming, macadamia farming, we have the loaded glass farming, we have the kitchen garden farming, we have poultry keeping, and rabbit keeping, and livestock keeping. As the brothers of St. Joseph prepare to celebrate Diamond Jubilee, marking 75 years of their missionary work in Kenya, there is need for Catholic faithfuls to recognize, uphold, and support their different apostolates. When we went to that bishop, he gave us one challenge, that I give you the blessings to celebrate the Jubilee, and the Jubilee, since you have announced the brother, it's no longer yours. The Jubilee belongs to the church. And therefore, we are going to come in forcefully as the Diocese of Nyeri to celebrate this Jubilee together with you. But he told us he gave us one challenge. Now that we are at 2075, are you sure that you are known to this diocese or to other dioceses? To join Brothers of St. Joseph as a missionary, the aspiring candidate they write the letter 
they write the letter to the vocation director or the vocation animator, Brothers of St. Joseph, P.O. Box 39, Moiga. The other one is the telephone, 0728-446-266. The Airtel is 0753-914-316. We have the Facebook, which we call it Brothers of St. Joseph. Vocational community life has its own set of challenges that cut through every religious group and require the support of both the religious and lay faithfuls. Mwiga is in the same arid area. And we, we used to have very good harvests. But of late, it is difficult really. Our CBUs is formed for different groups. A group can, identify, can, can register itself, and then it can apply and it can become a member of our of, of organization. Two, anybody can join the group that, 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 that uh, make the CBU, because you have about 10 groups that make the CBU. Then participation in all the activities, in all the activities of the CBU. Maybe there's an activity, uh, according to what you hear about other programs, an individual can also join and participate in that. Then, there's the sale of the donations, either on kind, food, clothes, or even in cash, that you can, you can be able to accept or to, to assist in our program. Let us join efforts to support Brothers of St. Joseph in empowering and preparing candidates for missionary work. We are apostles. This is our madhouse, a place of prayer and meditation. Welcome. We are aspirants of Brothers of St. Joseph. Determined to serve you. Welcome. Baba. Money. 